Welcome to DriveWise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2017 Mini Cooper 5 door hatchback finished in chilli red with black roof and black mirror caps. The mileage on this one is just 30,403. It's had two owners in total from new and it comes with a benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history that's all been completed by the same mini dealer. The specification on this one includes a John Cooper Works sports pack and visual boost radio system. So without further ado, let's have a closer look around, shall we? So we'll start off here at the front. And if we could uh, if I could just draw your attention to the enhanced front spoiler underneath the front number plate, that's part of the John Cooper Works Aerodynamics kit. And that thing continues all the way around the car. As we come now down the near side or passenger side, we've got 17 inch black twin spoke alloy wheels or track spoke alloy wheels to give them their proper name. And we've also got underneath the passenger doors there, enhanced side skirts. Again, that's part of the John Cooper Works aerodynamic kit. And making our way now to the rear of the car. I do think red and black's a, a good combination, isn't it? It just, uh, two contrasting colours do work very well together. So as we come to the off side now, or driver's side, I'll just take a moment to pause so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines. As we slowly meander our way back to where we started from. Gorgeous. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? We'll start on the driver's door, first of all. I always like to check out the door card to make sure they're in good order. And this one most certainly is. So here we've got a toggle switch for the front passenger door mirror and driver's door mirror, electric front windows, electric rear windows, and I'll pan over to the interior. We've got beautiful grey cloth upholstery. The driver's seat is height adjustable, just using that lever there. And I'll just get a little bit closer before I uh, park myself inside. And then we can have a closer look of what uh, controls we have to look at. So, just above the steering wheel, we've got the speedometer. And if I press that button, we can confirm the mileage at 30,403. On the left hand side, we've got the rev counter. And as we come over to the centre of the car, we've got the visual boost radio system. I'll start the engine up so we can see everything lit up. That's better. Try and get rid of that glare for you. There we go. So on here, if you wanted to choose your favourite radio stations, you can do. There's FM, AM and DAB. Bluetooth your telephone system up there. And we've also got vehicle information, which for me is the most interesting bit because it gives you um, advance warning if you need to do anything. So for example, on this page, we've got the tyre pressure monitoring system and we can see all four wheels are in green, which is just what we want. If you were to lose some air out of one of the tyres, you get a warning sign on the dashboard and it would encourage you to visit this page to see which wheel needs attention measure the engine oil level and we can also check out any service requirements. So service history we can see that we've got three services there. The first one was done in April 2019 or at 9054 miles and that one was the engine oil and microfilter. Then there was another one in July 2020 at 16951 that had new rear brake pads and a brake fluid service as well. Then the last one was in September last year. Uh, it is coming up due for a, another service, which we would have done for the new owner, along with a brand new MOT as well. Underneath that, we've got the heating and ventilation controls. On the left hand side, that's the directional wheel in the middle. We've got the fan and then on the right hand side, temperature. Underneath that, we've got heated rear window and air conditioning. 
and that master switch there allows us to switch the engine on and off. Right at the bottom, we've also got a USB and an auxiliary port, twin cup holders, a six speed manual transmission, and this is the major control panel for everything to do with the visual boost radio system. So that's the view from the driver's seat. Let's have a look behind the driver, shall we? Again, we'll check out the door card first of all, and that's in excellent condition, as are the rear seats, not a mark on them. Then we'll come round to the rear to gain access to the boot on the mini hatch where the mini badge is just there. There's a touch button. There we go. Lift. And that allows you access. As we can see, we've got a cavernous load space area. You've got a 60-40 split rear seat arrangement, so you can fold either or both of those rear seats down, which will increase the versatility of the load space available to you. And if we close that back down and we come back down the near side, again we'll check out the door card first of all. Beautiful. And the seats from the passenger side, they too are beautiful as well. Last but not least, the front passenger door. Door card on that is immaculate. And the front passenger seat, gorgeous. So, in summary, here we've got a 2017 Mini Cooper five door hatchback finished in chili red with 30,403 miles, two owners from new, and a fully documented mini service history. It has a John Cooper Works Sports Pack and a Visual Boost radio system. Once I finish the video, our team will come in, they'll COVID secure the interior, so it's all safely ready for you to come and inspect and drive. If you have a part exchange and you're wondering what it might be worth, I'd be more than happy to give you a valuation for it. My name is Stephen. I do hope you've enjoyed our video and I look forward to speaking to you soon.